So what is going on guys? So today we're starting off with two surprises. Now, I don't know how long I'm gonna last today for today's video. Uh, I'm feeling really sick today. I keep getting freaking sick as you guys could probably tell. I've had like a lingering sickness, but today I feel like crap. But, but thanks to Dayquil and caffeine, I'm alive and you know what? I can't lay in bed all day, I get too bored. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, got a bunch of new parts for the E36. It's coming out really nice. Got all the M stuff on it. Well, I didn't get the side skirts on yet, but it's coming together. So put it on jack stains for now. And I think we're just gonna try and bang out the manual swap th for this week. Um, I just ordered the clutch today and I need like a shifter bushing. That's, that, that's about it. I have, I have everything else, I think. So hopefully we can bang that out throughout the week. We'll do that casually, get it done. Hopefully by the end of the weekend, we'll have this thing back on the road, but I have it manual. Um, so I'm excited to have this car manual and hopefully we can get some coilover so this thing is signed, get on the ground. I think I might just pick up a nice set of OEM M wheels because you can get some like pretty cheap ones that look really sick. So we'll get to that later. But big surprise, something awesome came in for the Z right here, this long box. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you three seconds. Yeah, it's side skirts. So these are still in type threes, basically the same ones I got for my red Z. Um, Favorite side skirt for the Z, I think they're just the cleanest, nicest looking ones. These are obviously just for a two plus two. Huge shout out to Roberto from HP Logic. He got me these really cheap because he got them to me for cost, which is sick. So let's open those up and check them out. These are sick, these are polyurethane. This this isn't no KBD, unfortunately, but as you guys know, the polyurethane parts are like indestructible, so it makes your life a lot easier instead of that fiberglass junk. As you can see, they're still-ins. What's really nice about these is they kind of fit basically like OEM. As you can see, it's not like a very aggressive skirt, but it adds some like, Adds a nice line to the bottom of the Z's because the rockers sit really high. So let's mock this thing up. Look how good just adding side skirts makes this car look. I definitely want to get the side skirt lip though. Make it look even a little bit more body low. I did like a cheap mod on my Red Z right here. As you can see, like the little side skirt lip in it, and it basically helps fill the gap, and it makes it makes your body look a little bit lower and really cleans it up. What do you think of the skirts, Bry? On the Z, that is. Oh, oh, I didn't even see them. Right? It really, it, it does a lot for it, doesn't it? It does. It does look nice. I gotta step back. You ready to paint them? Full picture. Am I ready to paint them? Yeah, soon. <laughs> Looking pretty good. As we wait for parts for the E36 and the Z, we're gonna be putting focus the next couple days on the S13, tearing down the engine, figuring out exactly what we need, what I want, and then start working on the bay also. There's a lot of hours ahead of me in this. Probably won't film a lot of it, like with the Z. It'll just be basically me sitting in here or the sander all day, getting it done, so. Speaking to all the noobs out there, <laughs> if we're in my situation right here, where would we start in prepping this engine bay? Ooh, well, I would probably start with all the nasty areas. So, I'm gonna keep my fuse boxes in the engine bay. I decided I don't really care about looks. I want it more for accessibility because it's more of a functional reforms type of car. Only bracket I do want to take out before we paint it is this one. So, Bri's gonna drill the spot welds out for me right now. Ta-da, just like that. All right, so I went to the PO box today and to my surprise was a big package. I'm very curious what it is. I still have a lot of other packages to open, but this thing, this one, this one's a big one. This one's actually from a subscriber. His name's, if you'll focus, Asian Andy. He actually ordered uh, a few bits of apparel from us uh, and uh, he sent me a really cool email the other day. So, and now there's a package right here. Drew a stick figure of a guy rocking out. That's pretty badass. So, Asian Andy. Did you send me a microwave? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a microwave. <laughs> it's like Christmas, so we gotta open the card first. So, in the letter he tells me that, um, he says to Jimmy Oaks, Steffi, and Pineapple Crew, on the letter he says that he works for Canomotive AC Systems. And he happened to compile a bunch of really, really helpful things in this. And I'm really, really excited to see exactly what it is. So let's tear it apart. It says that to cut with caution. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta be cautious. Dude, holy crap. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, we got a duster. It's we not even some, my birthday. Some care. All right, first thing. So, first thing. This is a laser th thermometer. A laser thermometer. That is so and freaking a, cool. And a four LED UV, UV light. UV leak detection. 
Yeah, so there should be probably glasses in there too. That's the so light. cool. Oh my god. That's badass. Mm. This one says cut with caution. Bruh, no way. <laughs> what? Smart move. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, your dashboards are gonna be looking fresh. <laughs> I'm gonna have forever. The, literally. <laughs> no more crusty dashes. That's crazy. <laughs> Shop towels. Hell yeah. Can Always good to have. That yep. is so good to have. What? Laser thermometer, another one? What is this? Oh, yes. And he's even oh, got a... Dude, I got a carrying case and everything. Oh, it's an infrared thermometer, yeah. Oh, that's Those so are sick. Awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. This, You know what's really going to help with this? Finding leaks in my garage. In your garage? <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. I, there's there's air leaks everywhere in here. And I, that's and I, true. And I keep losing all my heat. This is so cool. You can always use those to check to make sure your radiator works too. Yeah. Like you check one side to the other, it should be like a 20 degree difference or something like that. That is awesome. Holy crap. I could test to make sure my gauges aren't boof. Yeah. I noticed you got this too. This is another AC leak detector. It's a sniffer. This thing, I'm pretty sure. It sniffs. What next? Holy crap. So oh, much detailing. Gosh. I think he's trying to say I got dirty cars. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, Jimmy. You know, you got a nice paint job and just, you let it get dusty. The dust, dude. Try it out. We, Put we it on the that. thing. We get, need grab this. the duster. Grab the duster. Look at that. I can see. Oh my gosh. It's definitely noticeable. I mean, improvement. it's all fingerprints on here, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Steph's gonna hold this one. For the. Oh yeah, over here. Go this for the beauty shot. Ready for it? <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Dude. That's unreal. RJ's gonna lose his shit. Trim restore that <laughs> the E36 needs this bad. That is so sick. Types of tire shine, wheel cleaner. Wax wipes. This is unreal. Tire shine. Fuel injector cleaner. Dude, I don't even Fuel know. Fuel injector what... cleaner. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. I don't. I don't, I don't even know what to say. All right, this what's in unreal. this box? I'm curious. Like, a hundred STP stickers. Oh, dude, look you'd be at looking that. like Richard Petty in no time. <laughs> look at that. Never even seen that before. Carnuba cleaner wax. Yeah. That's... Oh, I got a chamois in here too. Yes, always good dude, to have. I'm literally in awe right now. This is like the craziest thing ever. What the. I need these pads bad. Bunch of AC stuff. Oh my god. Just bottles of Freon. That is nuts. Dude, I don't even know what to say, Andy. That is ridiculous. Thank you so much for all of this. It's gonna help so much. Dude, this is insane. Hey, well, if it has a leak, we can maybe fix it and, and then, then fill it back up. Fix it and fill Bam. it. Bam! That's crazy. We're, we're gonna be AC pros in no time. Dude, there's so much stuff. It, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that is unreal. Jimmy, you have some amazing subscribers. Damn. I gotta say. That is true. Andy, you rock. Dude, thank you so much. Like, I don't even know what to say. This is gonna be cool. You're a warm son of a bitch. How much is it? 88 degrees. That's, I'm dead. Literally unreal. This is baffling. Andy, I can't thank you enough, dude. You, I don't even, I really don't even want, I, don't even know how to show you my gratitude because that's really insane. Now I don't have to half-ass wash my cars like y'all you all know I do, so this is gonna be amazing. I know Ari's gonna love it too, so. But enough of me talking for today because that's what I feel like it's all I've been doing. We actually have to get a few things done while I'm here, you know, so I can feel productive and, you know, satisfied. So, it's time to get to work on this thing. Now I wouldn't use this jack point if you had an engine in your car, but since there's no engine, it'll be fine. Boy. Damn, that's actually pretty badass. Can't wait to get wheels for this thing. It looks like 17s would actually fit this car pretty well. Unfortunately, you seems like you really can't fit that big of wheels on this little ass car. What a shame. So, basically you decided to just drop the whole suspension subframe setup because I'll be redoing all of it anyways. I need new coils because mine are kind of shot. Um, Lowers are fine, but everything else I want to get powder coated because it already has so much surface rust and if I get it powder coated, never have to worry about it again. Well, of course guys, the last bolt has to give me an issue. So for the subframe, there's four, four main bolts. 
two on each side that basically hold against the frame rails. These little caps right here are the top of the bolts. They're basically like spot welded to this bracket and occasionally they tend to break off and just spin. Unfortunately, head of this bolt is so shallow, putting a 14 on it or even vice grips doesn't do crap for you. So if I had my welder, I would usually just weld the bolt back to the bracket and blast it off, but my welder's still broken. Still need to buy one. So we're gonna have to sink ourselves low and uh, cut it off. Forgot the sway bar. All right, so the subframe is all out, everything's all set. This is essentially your whole entire front suspension. Like I said, like a hundred times, I wanna refresh this whole piece, add some new powder coat, add some new bushings, add a new rack, get that all set, and make my car feel 100%. Now let me show you guys what I had to cut off right here. These should just pull up. And so you can see this kind of just goes down through the frame rails and then these bolts are what hold up the subframe and they're kind of just like pressed in or tacked on to this brace. And this is trash. Now the last two things I need to take off are my tension rod braces right here. And as you can see, these are all rusty crusty and this one's actually pretty bent up probably for me spinning off the track a few times. So let's get these off. So Don showed up like an hour ago. Uh, he gets out of work pretty late, but he ended up still coming down. I've been really proud of him because he's putting a lot of work on his kooky. And uh, I was gonna check in, see what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he was wrapping up for the night. But hey, good progress, dude. So Don's doing exactly what I'm doing right now, just stripping his engine bay, getting it ready because he's gonna refresh it with some light paint work, get it ready, clean it up, so we can get that SR in there. Engine R still needs to come out. Uh, you could just pull the fuel line and stuff off to the side. I don't think he's really gonna touch his subframe or anything for now. I think yeah. he's all set on that. It's actually in better condition than mine, which is cool. Um, besides that, have you decided if you're gonna pull your booster or not? Oh, God. I'll try. <laughs> Don actually needs to sell uh, his VS's, work VS's right here. Here's a full set. Uh, fronts have really good tires on them. Uh, the fronts are like 17 by nine with like a plus 12 or something and the rears are 17 by 11 probably like with a zero <laughs> offset 1500 bucks obo someone come get him so don can go get his sr slant top any more questions about it hit him up on instagram i'll put his right here so local pickup only thank you guys just so i feel productive tonight i'm gonna take the booster and the master off though i've been dreading it so let's just bang it out let's get this thing done secret to taking the booster off is there's four bolts behind the firewall underneath the dash Getting a swivel socket on an extension on an electric ratchet makes your life not so miserable. But the cage on the other hand, that's going to make your life suck. Doing this all by feel. If you not see it, it hurts. I hate my life. Now putting this in, it's going to be a whole other story. That was one of the most frustrating things I've probably done in a long time. Next time I do that, I'm taking the dash out. That wasn't even worth it. If everything's out, this should just come out. Thank God. <clears throat> I wanna burn this thing. But something really, really shitty just happens. Now there's two studs that come out of the firewall right here that bolts the master to it. And those studs actually come off your clutch pedal. And then it basically sandwiches the clutch pedal to the firewall with this. Lucky me, the freaking stud just broke. I have to replace my clutch pedal now. That is so inconvenient. Why would you do me so dirty, Coop? Why? Not stoked. All right, remove the grommets really quick from the firewall for the AC lines and the heater hose lines. I'll probably just delete the AC box again like I did on the Z. Just wasted weight. No one wants paint over these because that's just half-assed.
Now the sad part is there's actually oil underneath this too from my oil filter exploded. <sighs> what a mess. Last piece of the puzzle. We're done. Basically. We're basically done. Now it is time for countless hours of sanding, grinding, cutting, and painting. Well, I'm sick as all hell, but I managed to finish up the S13 bay or finish stripping it. The, you know, the work now begins, but that is all set. Take it apart, powder coat, refresh, all that good stuff. Simple, simple, fun, fun. But I'm so excited to be working on the BMW. As you guys know, this is a whole new world for me, so it's kind of, it's pretty, pretty exciting. A lot of parts coming in this week. It's crazy how awesome the BMW scene has been so far. I have so many people DMing me, trying to hook me up with parts, trying to really point me in the right direction of what to get, where to get it, and it's saving me a lot of time and money, and it's fantastic. So everyone that's reached out to me, thank you so much. This car will, is gonna come together very fast, and I'm super excited for it. The abundancy and the affordability of these parts is actually pretty exciting. Um, we're gonna see a big transformation in, over, in only just a week. I cannot wait to see it. Definitely trying to get this manual swap done for the weekend. If we can get all the parts in time, that would be fantastic. I really want to. I really want to get this thing back on the road, and I really want to drive it. I'm really trying to make this, I think, into just a really like nice daily driver. I want to be able to beat the crap out of it when I want to, and I want to be able to drift it if I do want to. But I also want to daily it because, as you guys know, I've have a crappy daily. I've always had a crappy daily. My Subaru was cool for a little while, but I only had that for a few months. Um, but it would be nice to have something cool again, and this is definitely something cool. So, but there's still a few parts that I'm having a hard time finding. Uh, basically asking you guys to help me find them. Um, the M3 fender trim, just the fender. I can't find just the fender. You can find the door trim like all day, every day on eBay and stuff, but just the fender is really hard to find. So if any of you guys can find a link to just the fender, that'd be sweet, or if you know someone's selling them, point in my direction, that'd be sweet. If anyone needs a black suede coupe, sunroof, mint, Headliner, let me know, because that's for sale. <laughs> so, that's it. Oh, God, I love this freaking thing. But, all right, I'm gonna call it a night. Hopefully I feel better in the morning. One of my good friends is actually coming down. I'm really excited to see him. So, stay tuned for that and all that good stuff and yada yada. Um, of course, go check out the website, grab yourself some merch, help support the builds, so we can make all these things, you know, as cool as we possibly can. So, uh, that's it. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.